The current system of consumer regulation and protection is very dis fragmented across a whole range of different organisations. There's 95 ombudsmen currently trying to look after the consumer interest and clearly that doesn't make the system accessible or simple for members of the public. So what we're trying to do is to design a simple and easily accessible uh, arrangement whereby consumers can have redress, where they can have advocacy of their interests and we can do that in a much more efficient basis within Scotland. The paper is a superb starting point for a discussion about what the future of consumer protection might look like in Scotland. It's an excellent distillation of international experience as well as a careful reflection on experience within Scotland itself. It's a superb place to begin the discussion about next steps. The ideal system will have consumers at its heart that makes it very easy for people to make a complaint when things go wrong, to get redress when that's necessary and to have a powerful regulator standing up for the interests of consumers and of good businesses so that the Scottish economy can grow. That's what's at stake here. There's a range of particular issues that are high up people's agenda, whether it's about payday loans and the lack of control that's in place around these arrangements, or nuisance telephone calls that um, well, are an irritation to members of the public, but they also get a lot of people involved in scams and difficult situations and a whole variety of other issues. So what we're trying to do is to address the necessity for the agenda to, uh, to address the consumer interest and to do that in an efficient fashion. And I think we've had a great start to that process of consultation with the launch of our paper today.